And now, your first alert five weather. Check out this beautiful viewer photo. The ice is off of Lake Isabel. That's in the wet mountains southwest of Pueblo. Shout out to Douglas for sending that picture to me. Outside live downtown Colorado Springs, 42 degrees. All the rain is off to the east of the city with that northeast breeze. It feels like 36, pretty brisk for this time of the year. Live look downtown Pueblo, 54 right now. No wind currently out at the airport. Here's your big weather story. Here's what's going to happen around here midweek next week. Pretty healthy storm system headed our way. The associated cold front going to drift through here midday on Tuesday. Going to bring in a few rain showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. And then Tuesday night into Wednesday, snow certainly possible for parts of the Pikes Peak region. We'll detail that with your extended forecast coming up for your Saturday. Really nice around here. Blue sky, sunshine, 9 a.m., 47 degrees in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. By the lunch hour, we've got 50s and 60s. This model wants to bring in a few high thin clouds during the mid afternoon hours. Afternoon high temperatures is really comfortable around here tomorrow, even at 6 p.m. 60s and 70s with mostly sunny skies. High fire danger for parts of the viewing area tomorrow. A red flag warning from noon until 8 from Walsenburg to Trinidad all the way out to eastern Los Animas County. You want to stay away from anything that could possibly get a fire going. If you see smoke, certainly call it into law enforcement as quick as you can. Look at that as predicted rain and even a few thunderstorms across parts of the viewing area right now. We've got some good beneficial soaking rain just off to the east of Colorado Springs, the confluence of 24 and 94. Also far southeastern El Paso County. Look at that dangerous cloud to ground lightning and good soaking rains across that area. Dry skies in Pueblo right now. Thunderstorm just off to the east of Fowler across portions of the lower Arkansas River Valley. Tracking a little bit of light rain shower activity across portions of Pueblo West. That stuff is uh, drifting off to the south and east at about 15 miles per hour. So still a few light showers possible in Pueblo a bit later. You can see most of this moisture is drifting slowly to the southeast at about 15 miles per hour. Current temperatures border to border. We've got 40s, 50s and some 60s. 60s out along the Kansas border. Not to be outdone out west. Current temperatures in the 50s and 60s as well. Nice mild afternoon out in Grand Junction. Here's how cold we get tonight. Partly cloudy skies early, then clearing. Overnight lows 20s and 30s up and down the I-25 corridor. You want to be outside this weekend. Tomorrow it's going to be good. It's going to be great around here on Sunday. If you like that mild air down slope flow, that Chinook is going to push the high up to 77 degrees in Colorado Springs. Breezy downslope wind during the afternoon hours. Stronger wind, higher fire danger by Monday. I think we'll see widespread red flag warnings across eastern Colorado on Monday. Then here comes that storm system late Tuesday into Wednesday. Quick shot of rain changing to snow in Colorado Springs right now. We'll go with a two on the storm impact scale and temperatures warming nicely by this time next week. Pueblo, quite a variety show over the next seven days. You get 60s, 70s and a couple days early next week into the 80s and then a few of those April showers late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning afternoon high Tuesday and Wednesday uh, dropping back into the 60s. That's still pretty decent for this time of the year for Canyon City. A good looking weekend. If you're a warm weather fan, get out and soak it up on Sunday. Windy and warm on Monday. Then temperatures fall off rather dramatically. Only upper 50s Tuesday and Wednesday with those rain showers. Woodland Park snow gear required with this extended forecast. You won't even be thinking about snow this weekend, especially on Sunday. Sunday, close to 70 degrees, but that next Pacific storm going to bring a shot of snow Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Right now a two on the impact scale. Some of the roads up there could get slushy and slick late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. Traffic time here on News 5, very slow. I-25 northbound from the motor.